Connor, thank you for joining me. Let's quickly recap on Saturday. A 6-0 win over Dorking Wanderers. A brilliant result and equally brilliant performances from all the players. Yeah, um, I mean, you, saw, you saw the game plan pretty much straight away. We went to a four, if you haven't done many times this season. Um, we wanted to get our three strikers up against their back three and make them defend. And we've done that, and to be fair, it worked brilliant. Obviously, I think we were 3-0 up on 31 minutes. So, uh, it caught them cold. Uh, you see that in uh, Mark's interview after. Uh, but the three lads done brilliant, uh, and to have our front three score as well is a massive plus as well. Let's talk about Callum Stead. He made the Vanarama team of the week. Two great goals on Saturday. He was always getting in the right positions, but now he's putting away his chances. What's changed for Callum? Is it just down to confidence in his own abilities? Uh, a lot of factors. Um, obviously, this is his first uh, stint in full-time football, so it takes a little bit of getting used to with that. So whether, whether obviously the fitness levels increase, um, so when he gets them chances, he's not as tired. He's literally he's naturally a fit lad, but the, the full-time training obviously can take a lot to adjust to. So he's done brilliant. He's progressing really well. He listens to what we tell him, um, and he continues to get chances. We say it all the time. He runs a goal. He makes brilliant movement, and he's always on the move. So he's never standing still, so he's going to get chances, especially at this level. And thankfully, he took a couple of them on Saturday uh, with number two goals. So I think it's 13 for the season now. He's done brilliant for his first year, and at this level, he's done excellent. Another Vanarama Team of the Week player, Dale Gorman. Just how good is it to have him back? Yeah, it's brilliant. We spoke about in previous interviews of the bonus it is getting lads back and how it, how it boosts the morale in the group. And Gorman was a big character, a brilliant character in the changing room, a brilliant person. And he's, he's, a, listen, he's, he's a captain for a reason. He's a leader on the pitch for us. And you can see when, he, when he's in the team, the difference it makes. So for him to get two goals is excellent as well for him. But listen, that's, that's how we, we don't expect him to keep scoring. But that's an added bonus just that you have him back in the team and what he does for our team is excellent so we're, we're so pleased to have him back On Solihull tomorrow a 3-0 loss to Southend on Tuesday night a very unhappy Andy Wing who said that his players and coaching staff will all be miles better for our game arguably another tough test away from home Yeah, you, you see their league position um, they've been up there all year and, and they warranted that position they're, they're excellent you see how tough a game it was when we played them here previously so they're well organised, he's done a brilliant job in his management team, excellent, they're so well organised, so well drilled, they've got some excellent players as well, so we know it's going to be a tough test. Um, we, we had the luxury of obviously going to watch it, uh, so went up there and watched the game. So, To be honest, they started the game excellent, they could have been a goal or two up in the first 15-20 minutes, so it, 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 by no means did the, did the scoreline kind of tell the full story. I think if, if they scored and they're on top, it might have been a very different game, but we, obviously we know that the, the side set up in there as well, so it was never going to be easy, but they're a good side, well organised, we know it's going to be a tough test. As you said, they're currently in a playoff position and they're on merit. We know how well they can play. Is there a lot of pressure going into this game? Uh, listen, there is pressure. Of course there is. At this, at this point of the season, there's pressure on every game because we need to get to our points tally that make sure we secure a second or third position. Um, that's obviously the tag. We want to come second, get a home tie one, one game from Wembley. So that's obviously the plan. Um, and with that comes pressure, whether whether it's Solly Hall or whether it's Dorkin, whoever it may be that you're playing, whatever end of the table they are, there's pressure. Just like there's pressure for us, there was Dorkin Saturday teams down the bottom. Listen, we, we're playing for pressure you want to be playing for. You don't want to be playing down the bottom of the table with that pressure. We've got pressure, you, it's a privilege, our pressure, uh, up at the top end. There's nothing worse to get at this point in the season and having nothing to play for. And we're in a brilliant position, a very privileged position that we have a lot to play for and every game matters. Six league games remaining. Uh, we're all feeling the excitement, but what's going to be key across these last few fixtures to secure that second or third place finish? Just what we've been doing all season, one game at a time. We'll prep each game as it comes. Obviously, this is a massive weekend in the, in the calendar every year. Uh, the Easter weekend, obviously, double header, every team playing twice. So, a lot will happen over this weekend, and we'll, we'll probably have a really good idea where everyone's going to be come, come Monday at 5 30, 6 o'clock. So, it's a big weekend, but every game matters at this point in the season for most teams, and obviously, this year more than ever. Pretty much every team, barring maybe one or two, have got a lot to play for. So, as I said, interesting weekend of football, obviously, at both ends of the division, and we're looking forward to it. As you said, a bumper Easter weekend of fixtures, Solihull held tomorrow and Oxford City at home on Monday. What's the mood in the camp? How's training been in the build up to this weekend, and how are the lads feeling? Excellent. Um, listen, the mood's always good off the back of six points last week with, with the Easter and Dorton games. The lads are obviously in good spirits. Um, Obviously, people are getting fitter again, as we said. We've got lads that are even more mates now. So, Gorms, Nicky and all, Danny, have all, they're all feeling good coming through their mates and getting stronger and stronger. So, that's a massive boost for us. And listen, we know the tests only all bring their, their good side. And even Oxford City got some really good players. They've got a talented manager. They got they play a brave way of football. And they'll play, such, obviously, on all their down, they'll play with such a freedom now. And obviously, people playing for maybe contracts there or trying to get a move. So, they've got their own reasons to be motivated. It's not a case of just, oh, they're down. It's going to be an easy game. It never is at this level. And, We've got two tough games, we've got to try obviously a target six points, that's what we will be doing. We announced this week that we're screening tomorrow's game at the Hive 
in Bar 66. A good opportunity for fans who either can't make the away trip or don't have TNT Sports to watch the game and be in the company of fellow Barnet supporters. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, obviously, we want as many there as we can, but if not, it's probably the next best thing, as you said, get around each other and get around other fans always makes it a better atmosphere. So, please God, we have a lot of, a lot of people turn out there, a lot of people turn out here, and we can give them something to show up. Connor, best of luck for the weekend, and thank you for your time. Cheers, Dan. Thank you.